body punchers, and now you see the reaction from Doheny. That one hurt him. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. Punchers, and now you see the reaction from Doheny. Nah, I'm telling you, man. TJ Doheny didn't quit. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna show you right here. Wait. Wait. Body wait punchers, for it. Right there. Right there. You saw it. Right there. Right there. You see where he stepped on his foot? From yeah, man. He stepped on his foot. Just okay to his back. <laughs> Said, hold up yes he hold did up. he hit me in the stomach and he just dislocated my back <laughs> We got the monster and the monster quitter. You know what I'm saying? That's what some people are saying. You know, and I, I, I think is I don't want to say that he quit. You know, I definitely don't want to say that he quit because I, I, I respect fighters around here. But you know, he, you know, he did have a a, a such sudden back pain. You know. Oh, I'm hurt. Oh, my neck, my back, my neck and my back. Oh. And, and you know, it could have been. You know, he could he could have had a herniated disc. He could have had a pitched nerve, and he could just had a, had had a, had a back spasm. But you know, all those things. I heard that they could be induced by increasing temperature. <laughs> and now, anyway, definitely turned up that heat. You know, come on. <laughs> And it wasn't coincidental. That's when he got up out of there in the seventh round, you know. So that's when the fight stopped. And, uh, you know, I will say this. I don't think he quit, you know, because I, I don't know what the fighter's feeling. But I will say this, though. For those of you that say Ryan Garcia quit from the tank body shot. Able to get in. Another left hook and a right hand by Garcia. And now, oh, Garcia forced to take a knee. We do not let people who are on the juice discuss real athletes. That's all. For those of you that say Amir Khan quit for the Terrence Crawford Lobo. Did you see the transition right there where he stepped back? I think it's Lobo. Huh? What's, what's stopping? Stop, stop, stop. This fight's being stopped because of that. Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Then this guy, he TJ Doheny? He definitely quit when when I anyway turned on that temperature. You know what I'm saying? Turned up that heat. You know, he definitely quit. So if you want to say that those other guys quit, then you gotta, you know. Uh, extend the same courtesy and, and, and bestow the same judgment upon TJ Doheny. Like I said, I don't think he quit. Bullshit! 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 bullshit. I'm not sure, you know, but I, I, I'm definitely interested to see that medical report. You know what I'm talking about? If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm bullshit. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG and the Empress. Gotta get money back for the YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's is in the house, man. So this morning, early this morning, you know what I'm talking about? We had the club going up on a Tuesday. How we had the club going up on a Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? Watching uh, Naya Inoue versus TJ Doheny, man. That fight card in Japan. You know what I'm saying? Japan. -ya. You know, it was uh, actually, actually actually a good fight card, man. You know, it's always worth it. You know, we provide the live boxing commentary. If you missed it, man, come through, man. Nobody kicks it and has fun like us. And we watch all the fights, all the major cards, whether it's in Nigeria, Japan, England, Australia, America, Saudi Arabia. It doesn't matter, man. Jamaica, Ghana, yeah. doesn't matter, man. And uh, speaking of Ghana, you know, there was a, a fighter, you know, who's Japanese and Ghanaian, you know, uh, uh, his, his mother's Japanese. Uh, from Japan and his father's from Ghana, if I'm not mistaken, Andy Hiroka. He went against the old man, Ishmael Barroso. You know, Ishmael Barroso, man, I didn't like this fight coming into it because, you know, Andy Hiroka, he's, he's, he's an up-and-coming prospect, you know, undefeated fighter. And I feel like Ishmael Barroso was kind of brought in to lose, you know what I'm saying? Ishmael Barroso been doing his thing, you know, but those of you familiar with the sport, he's 41 years old. Damn! I'm sorry. Had some fights with Roley. A lot of people say he was robbed and all this stuff like that, you know. But he put on a good show, you know. He put on a good show while it lasted. And we seen Andy Hiroko get, uh, 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 we seen Ishmael, Ishmael Barroso get blasted, you know. He put on a good fight while it lasted until he got blasted, you know. And then uh, he actually went down a couple of times. And Andy Hiroko got a good win, you know. That was a good win for the young man. And, um, you know, it's good for his resume. Now, 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 I think Ishmael Barroso has a lot of things, had a lot of questions to answer, you know, if he's going to continue fighting. You know, shout out to Ishmael Barroso. We, we, we rock with Ishmael Barroso around here, man. Uh, he's been a swelling fighter. And uh, he was he was doing his thing, like I said, up until, he, up until he couldn't, you know. And I thought that was a good fight. You know, that was a banger of a fight. And then speaking of Eddie Hiroka as well, you know, we also had uh, Jin Sasaki at the welterweight division against uh, Bala, right? Bala, uh, I believe, Australian fighter. And um, that was a good fight as well, man. Sasaki was looking like Jin from Tekken. I ain't gonna lie, that'd be fire if they have like a couple couple stages where you're on the bike. Kind of like Final Fantasy VII if y'all play Final Oh! Oh! Oh, he ratchet! Hey, yo! Oh, my God! 
You know what I'm talking about? And he, <laughs> he was going crazy, man, in the welterweight division. In fact, he only has one loss, and coincidentally, his one loss came to Andy Hiroka, who we just talked about beating Ishmael Barroso. So, you know, we have some good, we have some good fighters. That was a good win, and there was there was some great fights last night. You know, and then speaking of speaking of great fights, you know, um, uh, Sasaki stopped Bala, Hiroka stopped Barroso, and then um, we had what's my guy's name, uh, Yoshiki Take. Who was a former kickboxer, man? I think his story is impressive, man. Now he's a now he's a champion at the bantamweight division. You know, um, he's one of the champions. You know, along with uh, Junto Nakatani and Takuma Inoue, and um, there's a fourth champion as well. Uh, I can't remember his name right now off the top of my head. Uh, but yeah, so there's a four champions that he's one of them. You know, at the bantamweight division, and I thought he put on a good show against Daigo. But I'm not gonna lie, man. I thought Daigo kind of won that, man. I thought Daigo did enough to win that fight. Yeah. Uh, but you know, they're both trading some big bombs uh, with Daigo, uh, but. I thought where Daigo messed up is Daigo took the 12th round off, man. I don't know if his corner communicated to him that all he needed to do was survive to win the fight. And they may have been right, but I keep telling the fighters, man, y'all got to watch boxing, man, and, and, and these corners. When y'all going to learn? When are y'all going to learn, man? There's nothing given in boxing, man. Fighters fight, judges judge. You never know what the judge is seeing from the perspective, man. Why would you take, a, why would you take as a challenger, coming in as a challenger, why would you take a round off? You dumbass. You know, I don't, I don't get, especially the 12th round, the championship round. So I thought that was very foolish. I thought that was silly as hell. But I still thought he did enough to win. But you know, Takei came out with the victory in the close fight. It was a close fight either way. But I thought Daigo won, in my personal opinion. Um, and then we had some other fights on the undercard as well that were good. Um, I don't want to mess up their names because I don't remember off the top of my head uh, right now. So, uh, but yeah, those those were great fights all in all. You know, I thought they were very good. And let's go on to the main event. The main event being now you're in way versus TJ Doheny. You know, it's crazy that this is probably the most anticipated fight due to Nia Inoue being uh, one of the top three pound for pound fighters, Terrence Crawford, Usyk, and Nia Inoue. You know, according to ESPN, he's, he's number three pound for pound, uh, which I agree with that. I have Terrence Crawford number one, Usyk number two, and uh, Inoue number three. And uh, I don't think that this fight um, did much to improve that status because, yes, I, I, I see this fight as a stay, stay busy fight. I don't, I'm not mad at it, but TJ Doheny coming in, if you pay attention to boxing, you know, he's four and seven in his last uh, uh, sorry, he's four and three in his last seven fights. Um, you know, they tried to pin him as I saw some articles saying calling him the Japanese assassin because he was four and no one fights in Japan. You know, whenever they have to add some further specificity to your your undefeated streak, it's specifically in Japan to let you know that he's not really four and no one's last four fights. It's just his last four fights in Japan, like they say. So he's really four and three in his last seven fights. And I didn't think that he was going to get um, I didn't think he was going to put up much of a fight against uh, uh, the monster, you know, but hey. He actually did, man. He actually looked good. I, I'm not going to lie. I don't want to discredit TJ Doheny. Um, he, did, he did look impressive early, you know, but I, I've kind of, it never felt like Naya Inouye was ever in trouble. To me, it always just felt like Naya Inouye was just trying to get some rounds. And I could be wrong about that because I don't want to discredit TJ Doheny. But, um, yeah, the 37-year-old, he definitely, uh, oh, when it was time to go, it was time to go, man. And uh, <laughs> you know, some people said, we got the monster and the monster quitter. You know what I'm saying? That's what some people are saying. You know, and I, I, I think is I don't want to say that he quit. You know, I definitely don't want to say that he quit because I, I, I respect fighters around here. But, you know, he, you know, he did have a, a, a such sudden back pain, you know. Oh, I'm hurt. Oh, my neck. My back. My neck in my back. Oh, and, and, and you know it could have been. You know he could he could have had a herniated disc. He could have had a pitched nerve, and he could just had a, had had a, had a back spasm. But you know all those things. I heard that they could be induced by increasing temperature. <laughs> and now anyway, definitely turned up that heat. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> And it wasn't coincidental. That's when he got him out of there in the seventh round, you know. So that's when the fight stopped. And, uh, you know, I will say this. I don't think he quit, you know, because I, I don't know what the fighter's feeling. But I will say this, though. For those of you that say Ryan Garcia quit from the tank body shot. We do not let people who are on the juice discuss real athletes. That's all. For those of you that say Amir Khan quit for the Terrence Crawford Lobo, then this guy, he TJ Doheny. He definitely quit when when Naya anyway turned on that temperature. You know, it turned up that heat. You know, he definitely quit. So if you want to say that those other guys quit, then you gotta, you know, uh, extend the same courtesy and, and, and bestow the same judgment upon T.J. Doheny. Like I said, I don't think he quit. I'm not sure. You know, but I, I, I'm, I'm definitely interested to see that medical report. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, man, Naya anyway, he definitely won in an underwhelming fight. Um, but he did what he was supposed to do. Like I said, uh, Naya Inouye was probably the most anticipated. Uh, uh, obviously, he was the main event, so we all wanted to see him. But I thought that the best fight on the card was probably uh, 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 Takei, you know, uh, Yoshika Takei versus Daigo Higa. That was a great fight, man. But like I said, the whole card was full of fights. And the most, uh, it's funny, the most underwhelming was actually the, the the guy that we were most intrigued to see in Naya anyway. But it wasn't his fault, you know, TJ Doheny. You know, he seemed like he was just there to, uh, you know, once the thing got too hot, he said, man, I got to get out the kitchen, man. So... <laughs> 
<laughs> so it is what it is. But I appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Let me know what y'all think about that, man. What's next for Dai? Anyway, I heard that he's he's trying to come back in December. Um, so that'd be good to see him. But hopefully we, we get to see him against somebody that's formidable. You know, maybe MJ Akmadaliev, who who they've been seemingly reluctant to fight. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe they could get coerced Sam Goodman back in the ring, you know. But MJ Akmadaliev, in my opinion, is the most intriguing fight at 122 for Dai anyway. I think he wins, but I don't think Bob Bob Arum and them want that fight because I think that's probably the most difficult fight in that division right now. Um, but I'm interested in that fight. Like I said, I think now he anyway wins, but uh, that, that's definitely, as, as far as uh, uh, opposition goes, I think he's, he's a much better opposition than a uh, much more formidable, much more formidable opponent than uh, TJ Doheny and even Sam Goodman. M- MJ Akmadali is better than both of them. And then I would even say Kevin Gonzalez, who MJ Akmadali had beat. I think he'll be a better opposition as well. And of course, you could go to... Uh, um, uh, John Rail and Casimero and all those other guys, you know, even Elijah Pierce, who we just saw win. Uh, we'll see how it goes, though, man. I'm, I'm anticipated to see the monster again. I like that he's staying busy and he's staying active, so that's dope, man. I appreciate y'all working, as always. Y'all be easy. Take care of yourselves. And remember, with God, we can do anything without God or nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Hallelujah.